going to start a server build. I know, I'm bouncing around on my projects, but um, I've got a QNAP TS-239 Pro 2 that's been real faithful for me for 10 years. It's time to replace it. I'm going to move to open NAS. So I picked up these Dell R710s. They have L5650 processors, which is a pretty decent processor. Certainly a lot better than a first or second generation Atom. Um, they're dual, dual processors, 12 cores total in each box, which is 24 threads. And they have 24 gigs of RAM. That is a heck of a server for 120 bucks. 40 bucks shipping, $160 delivered. That's eh, pretty snappy. So the first order of business is they come with 146 gig drives, so we're going to swap those out. So, you know, this is Dell hardware. Pretty easy. You just pull, pull the drives out. We're going to go ahead and pull um, the blanks. like we got a blank that's stuck. Just toss those. <laughs> All right. So this one's going to be a little bit of a challenge. go to recycle. So uh, there's not really a right or a wrong way on these, so we're just going to go ahead and pop these out. These are uh, three terabyte drives, remember right? Yeah, three terabyte Hitachi drives. Uh, they are used. Yeah, there's a little bit of a risk there, but honestly it's okay. Um, we're going to run a just based on disk configuration. Um, should be okay. You know, these were pretty reasonable, so I'm willing to take that chance. And, uh, you know, the nice thing is these are enterprise drives. They are designed for 24-7 utilization. They are SAS 10K drives. which should give me pretty decent performance. You know, I was telling one of my friends that... You know, 24 gigs of RAM and dual processors and dual power supplies for $120. I mean, I don't even think I could buy the memory for that price. So, pretty pretty happy about that. They were super well packed. Uh, it was an eBay find. Um, they're off-lease corporate or enterprise computers. So, there's our six drives. All that over there because we'll find a use for it later. Now... There is more that we need to do. So the next order of business is to replace the drive, the uh, floppy drive. So we're going to pop that out, or DVD drive, sorry. And we're going to change it out to something else. And what we're going to change it out to, let me get in here, hermetically sealed crap. So this is a... Uh, that's kind of nice. It comes with a little tiny drive screwdriver. This is a SSD caddy that goes in the um, DVD slot. And we're going to put a 120 gig um, SSD in here. These were 25 bucks a piece on Amazon. Again, hermetically sealed packaging that's extremely difficult to open. Um, you know, that's a pretty good deal. These are going to be, this is going to be my OS drive. It frees up a slot. Uh, I thought about doing SATA DOM, but I just didn't, it just wasn't that good of a deal. So the way this works is this just slides in here, and oh, that's why they included the little, the little screws is to go in the bottom of this, so we'll go ahead and put those in. It's really nice that they included a... Um, a tiny little screwdriver for these.
And now before we uh, call that a moment, we just want to make sure that's fully seated, and then we'll tighten these down. Now, one of these came with a DVD drive, which was a really nice surprise because it wasn't part of the original spec, and one didn't. So I had to order this, this cable. And then this just slides back in here. And unfortunately, this doesn't have any kind of retaining. So, yeah, it is what it is. You know, the Dell drive has a tab here to help it stay locked in. Let's see if we can move this tab over. So I think, I think we can move this tab from one unit to the other. Yeah, it sure looks like I can. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and see if we can. kind of screw that is. Eh, damn these people. Let me go see if I can find this bit. I don't know what these screws are. They're too small for me to see. It's just passing on. Alright, so it's just going to sit in here. You know, that's fine. These aren't going to get moved a lot. It's going to be in my server closet with the rest of my goodies. So next we got to change out the raid card these came with a crappy ass um let's see where it is there we go these came with a crappy ass perk i or 6i which is um frankly junk so we're just going to gently disconnect everything just make some space. why this is giving me grief coming out of here. There it goes. All right. Now, what we are replacing this with is a LSI card, and it will not work in the same slot. So let's go ahead and get our card out. And, oh yeah, it's going to play nice. Oh yeah. Leave that there. And you know, Dell has really done a nice job of making these tool free. I mean, it just, you know, I used to be a real fan of the Compact Pro Alliance. I loved Compact. I actually worked there briefly. Great people. A little bit of a backstabbing environment, which was a big letdown. But otherwise, it was just a great, great company. And HP is the devil. They make shit printers, and uh, they're, well, actually, their printers are okay, but they don't make anything. They buy everything. They're just a repackager. So we'll roughly dispose of that in there for shipping purposes. Go back in there. And 
And I've got these cables that I bought on eBay. These were, I don't know, 20 bucks. It's not that expensive. So, controller. Hopefully these are going to fit like they're supposed to. Ooh, that's looking real, uh, real spicy there. So port zero. Crap, I can't read none of this. Port zero and SAS A. So that's going to go there. Yeah, that's the hard one. So we're we're home free and port one and SAS B. All right, so what we're gonna do at this point is just tuck all this in. Now, if you are not as fast or as comfortable, don't sweat it. I uh, have built servers for a living for years, so I'm not, I'm not super afraid or scared of any of this. There's some of it I haven't completely seen before, but it's all, it's all good. You know, we'll come back to that. So what we wanna do is work on this clearance here first, because this is the hard one. So this, this backplane zero is a really, really tight fit, but I, I don't think it's, I think it can be made to work. Yeah, so that, that can be made to work. So now we need to get this boy in and Go. That snaps in, no big deal. We need to find some place for this to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it under the other cable and then come up. And that'll get us into there. Clear all this riffraff out. And we just need this. At this point, we are ready to boot up. And uh, so let me let me get started on setting that up. <laughs> 